Biden took the oath of office on the western steps of the U.S. Capitol, the ceremony keeping in tradition, but certainly unlike any other in history, overlooking nearly empty National Mall, albeit beautiful, decked out in flags. But of course, the city locked down over the threats of violence. There was none. Hawaii National Guard members among the soldiers maintaining the security and the peace for the inauguration ceremony. And again, there were limited crowds along the traditional inaugural parade route because of the coronavirus restrictions. <laughs> president Biden and his family walked a final short distance to the White House, with the president jogging over to the sidelines on a few occasions, talking with some friends or spectators and a few reporters. The president and the first lady, Jill, Jill Biden, then took part in a televised parade called Parade Across America. And that Parade Across America also featured performances from communities in all states and territories. They celebrate America's heroes and highlight the diversity and heritage of our nation. Hawaii's entry was a chant recorded in Wai'anae in the shadows of Mount Ka'ala. As the Ie Ie and the Ohia, they work together to bring forth all these new beginnings working together. The chant performed by Maliana Kamai speaks of growth and evokes the image of the Ieie vine which wraps around the Ohia tree.